Thank him for his love and thank him for his protective kindness to us, Lord. Praise God. When I greet the Spirit of the Living God, greet the ministers, if I miss Clark, um, Egan Cannon, I greet their wives on the line. Praise God. I greet the saints who are here, the visiting loved ones. Uh, greetings in the matchless name of Christ or a soon coming King. Praise Him. Um, truly today I'm thanking Him for everything He has done. I have a roof up above me. I have a fine place to sleep. I have food on my table. I have shoes on the feet. He gave me His love. He gave me a fine family. Amen. He gave me a fine church family. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. He gave me people who are praying on my behalf when I'm weak. I'm grateful for those things. Praise God. Praise Him. Virginia is keeping us amidst the, um, the stress and the, <laughs> the commotion and the chaos. Every week I go up here and describe it as the world is in chaos. It's in worse chaos. The school is drawing near. They don't know what to do. They want to, the children to go back to school. Yes? Yeah. They've not been at school since March 13th. And that has helped to keep the pandemic in check. It could have been worse. Amen. And now it's time for school. They are stressed. Mm -hmm. They don't know what to do because they want to keep the economy open. The parents stay home. People are not going to go to work. So the kids have to go to school. That's what they're saying. And everybody is confused right now because they don't know what procedures to do. Well, they know what to do, but it's tough and it's a challenge. And I realize, Brother Fraser, if it's not something where you press a button, people don't want to do it. It takes work. So today I'm excited that we're in the church of the living God. Praise His holy name. And that God is able to keep us above all that is going on. Somebody worship God. Praise God. We send special greetings. <laughs> Praise God. I, I am really, really happy to see you. Amen. To see sitting in the house of the Lord. Amen. Praise His holy name. And as you go, you're learning every time. When to stand up, when to sit down, it's a workout. But God is blessing you and giving you. Amen. He's touching your heart, and I love that. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. Amen. When the words were going forth this morning, I noticed that you were you were zoning in on what was going on. Praise His holy name. Amen. And so far, you haven't fallen asleep. Yet, so <laughs> I'm giving God thanks. Clap your hands. Praise God. Amen. Praise His holy name. Let her feel welcome. Amen. Amen. Let her feel welcome. So you came to the time when we're forced to. Out of wisdom, ask some of the brethren to come in, come in rotation. So you wouldn't see every, everybody at the same time. But I give God thanks that you're able to experience the most important thing God. Praise His holy name. Brethren, worship God. Brethren, this week, um, last week I was, I was in the garage um, tuning it up. Praise God. And I came upon a stack of CDs preaching. A big old stack. You know, it's not, it's people are not even using CDs anymore. And I put them in and start to play. And when I got to some of the CDs, I said, oh my God. We, we, we are coming from a far way. Yeah. And when I, one of the CDs I got to, I said, oh my gosh. I know exactly when I got to tell where I got it from. Praise his old name because it was a, a recording, yeah. a Zoom recording. Zoom. Really? Everybody yeah. remember Zoom? <laughs> Before Zoom was yeah, a video channel yeah. where people, this was like a little video device. And as I listened to it, my mind ran on you, evangelist. And I said, oh my God, I remember him as Brother Diamond. And he sent me that CD. And he got Sister Jolene and her boy singing everything. You're everything to me. Remember when the boys were, were at my show? They were at my waist at that time. No, they are papa trees. But greetings and welcome. Amen. We know you're better than the Lord Evangelist. Praise God. The bike field. Praise His holy name. And Sister Shia. Special welcome. Praise His holy name. But this is their 
Oh, stop and go. But when you, when you get in the ministry, you can't run too much. So we're glad to see you today. Praise I hope you get a blessing today in your soul. Let you give God the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the adoration that's due to his name. Bless the name of Jesus. But somebody worship God. Because he's worthy to be prayed. When, when we were not thinking of him, he was thinking of us. And he has blessed us so much. Praise his holy name. When I think, brethren, that, amen, so many have died. But God has given us life. We ought to be thankful. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Mr. special. Let me tell you why you're special. Praise his holy name. You are here for a purpose. Amen, I believe. You're here for a reason Amen. and for a purpose. Amen. And don't play, don't play it side of it. You hear what the preacher said this morning. Praise the the commenter said this morning. Praise his holy name. really caught me. God bless your preacher. You are here for a reason and for a purpose. And I pray that God will channel your heart to see it. Amen. He will open the eyes of your heart to see the purpose for which you are here. So many were turned back. You are the one that was chosen to be here. When all of those people that turned back and they let you want to. When you talk about all the players of people, they let you want to. God wants you to hear this word. And the word that will come in the fire is for you. I don't care. Amen. I don't know who's going to preach. I don't know really who's going to preach. I don't know who's going to preach. But there's a word coming for you. Praise Amen. the soul of the name. And I'm up. You're sitting at the right place. You must catch it. Amen. Praise Amen. the soul of the name. You can't help it. You must receive it. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. So I will try my best to, 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 to go through. Praise God. School. In the interest of time, what is the subject? The scripture reading on the many verse today. Subject of our lesson is together. Together, subject of our lesson is suffering for Christ's sake. Our scripture reading is taken from First Peter four one through nineteen. Our memory verse is taken from Acts fourteen twenty one to twenty two. Praise Him. Um, I want to just repeat the memory verse. Is this the phrase? Right. Praise the Lord. I guess because I'm the newbie. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Every time we have a, every time we have a rookie, they go first. Okay. Just call me a rookie. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Acts <laughs> first, <laughs> verse fourteen, <laughs> verse twenty-one and twenty-two. And when they had preached the gospel in that city and had taught many, they returned again unto Lystra and to Iconium and Antioch, confirming the souls of the brethren, and exhorting them to continue in faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. Our verse is taken from Acts 14, verse 21 to 22. And when they had preached the gospel unto that city and had taught many, they returned again unto Lystra and Iconium and Antioch, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in their faith that we must do much tribulation and enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. So we push up, push up. And Jay, watch it out. They didn't make any mistakes. <laughs> he's got, he's got, he's got one. Praise him. I'm going to see what's going on. <laughs> and I thought many days have returned again to this room. Praise the Lord. 
Remember, it's taken from Acts 14, 21 and 22. And when they had preached the gospel to that city, and that taught many, they returned again to Lystra and Iconium and Antioch, confirming the souls of the disciples and, and taught them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, end the kingdom of God. Praise, Praise the Lord. Amen. Brother Roach, give us a comment on the memory verse. Just Praise the Lord. Thank you for all the bread you recited. Praise his holy name. Praise him. What do you thought? Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Praise him. Praise his holy name again. Praise his holy name. God Almighty. Praise him. The man said the people, they, they, had a, they had a purpose, they had a job to do. Yeah. That's what I look at. They have something to do because we must know that we have something to do. They went preach gospel. And 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 they they, they preach it with, without no no they just preach the gospel and they, and the people they taught the people there then they then they return again to Lystra they say go to Lystra and go to Iconium and Antioch this now is just this, they say confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue the faith that is what God wants us to do He wants us to be consistent in season. Out of season, preaching the word and knowing that through tribulation we as 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 saints should be overcome and enter into the kingdom of God, yes, which is left and preserved and ready, waiting. Praise his holy name. Amen. Praise him. Praise we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. So tribulation is a part of the package. It's not an unknown mystery or a surprise. It is a part of the package. Praise God. We have a subject, suffering for Christ's sake. We got a wonderful comment this morning. I'm going to call him. What stood out to me, the phrase, what happened, what happened, what will happen to the anki panky That phrase stuck with me. And I tried to look preacher at my anki panky and I realized that um, there are things that I have to work on to be safe. Preaching anki panky serious, you know, they are small crumbs but they build up into mountains and they prevent you and block your worship, they block your, your focus, they block you um, from entering the kingdom. And today I, I took that. Another thing I took from his commentary this morning is that the world has gone real crazy. And with the technology and the, 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 the development of medicine, the church must continue to teach chastity. Amen. Because everybody, including the church, gets so slack. So when you weave and the prayer and the different things, these people can hide. Yes. And so what you're seeing, what you're seeing is that it must remain a part of the doctrine. It must remain a part of the chastity and the purity. To be safe. We must have, we have to continue with. You know why? Because the, 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 the modern, these um the persons he referred to this morning, they're using these as cloaks, as coverings. Amen? Yeah. And they're using the the, the, the the knowledge of how Bridget, I, I I I focused on it the other day and I said to myself, when I think about a woman that God created, you have to you have to each month deal with menstruation. Amen. You have to deal with menopause when you get to a certain age. Mm -hmm. You have to deal with certain things which are specific to your gender. Right. And you have people who want to cheat. They just want to look like you but don't feel like you. Yeah. Exactly. That's inappropriate. Yeah. You, see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to be at the period every month. Sister Nikki, this is where you say, praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> And if sister Nikki, they just want to look and get the cat calls and get the and get the whatever I guess people do. But they don't want to feel the regular things that you have to go through. Every month you have to go to CVSR. I don't know where you shop. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. We've been there to get it. You have to go to Walgreens and Walmart. And you have to know what size to buy. Yes. Praise him. They just want to go into Victoria's Secret and keep it a secret. And it's not appropriate. And so, Bridget, I don't know the world is getting crazy. And what Brother Powell is saying, 
is that they just want to have the appearance yes. of a woman or a man, but not go through the regular suffering. And it's the same thing with Christendom. It's a microcosm of Christendom. There are people who want to go through the loop of a Christian. The form of godliness, but deny the true things that will really put you in the kingdom of God. You get what I'm saying? That's the, that's the part of what the church is saying. That there are people who are trying to scam their way into the kingdom of God. And it can't work. You got to go through the true, the true, um, the true process to be saved. Yes. So all the people who are walking around in a way and take estrogen and call yourself a woman when you're a man, God knew you. Yes. They're going to come back as a man. Yes. To face the fight. Yes. I don't care if you cut it off, you're going to find your back. Yes. Like Lorraine above it, goes by with a look feet and find it. Yes. God's going to find it and put it on back yes. and burn it. Burn it. Yes. The sea is going to bring it up and send it back to you. And I'm going to put it back in your hand and burn it. Lighten up because I'm going to say it for the evening. All the women in the mood start dread up and stop where we're here. We're going to see them in the mouth. So the better of us are talk about it. We buy out, we can't find the box of the church. Can't find no, can't find no for we. We are church, can't even buy them out. Put out the ear for look like me. God gonna grow it back and then he burn him. Burn him. Burn him. Words died now. Welcome, brother. I like it. You saw what this all my God. I love it, preacher. Hands are full of me. I love it. Preacher, they're gonna grow it and burn it. <laughs> Praise him! Praise him! All the women in the gym are the fucking iron them. The man them breasts are good on and look like man. God gonna grow them back. The more popular message you tonight. And the man go and go and go and build them back and burn them. God knows the way I can't go. I don't know what I mean, but God is good preacher. Oh my God. I can eat the preacher, the preacher. The word, the word, high now you do. He cannot listen to the preacher. He cannot listen to the preacher. Brethren, we praise God. But I thought I was blessed this morning. That's what I was saying. I was blessed this morning. And... Read the words, keep yes, growing in the Lord. Yes, hey, Virgin, I, I, I don't want to do Anki Panki. Virgin, you hit that yes, note that says, if the righteous can scarcely yes, be saved. Yes, 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 yes. It means you're going to make it in when you do the best works yes, and you put your faith with that and you do what God says. You are, you are, you are, doing, the, you are doing the maximum and that's the minimum to get in. Hallelujah. Your maximum is the minimum to get in. Yes, you ain't no Moses, you ain't no Elijah. Break, you know, bro, 40, 49, yes. But God is saying your maximum is the minimum to get in. Then less than that, you're lost. Come on, a preacher. Praise him. Am I getting it from both sides? This is good. Where's the side? Here? Come up the side. Here. Praise God. Is God good to you today? Praise his holy name. The subject says suffering for Christ's sake. What is suffering? Amen. Give me, give me. What is suffering? But the preacher said hardship. Anybody else know what suffering is? Sister Debbie, what you said? Hardship. Oh Lord. Struggle. The word suffering comes from the word suffer. The dictionary says it means to undergo or feel pain. I'm just giving you what the dictionary says. Distress. To sustain injury. Disadvantage. Loss. Praise God. To endure pain or disability. To endure death. Patiently. Or willingly. So the, the dictionary defines suffering as it comes from the word suffer. For Christ's sake, 
It shows the underlying reason why you should be suffering as a Christian. Amen. This is the, the reason why you should be suffering. The reason why you should go through the things I just said is for the sake of Christ. The reason, praise God, Amen. because of your relationship with Christ. <laughs> eh? Amen. Sister Aria, because of your association to Christ. Praise Him. Amen. Because of your connection, preacher, and your friendship with Christ. Praise Him. Amen. Because of your companionship, that's why you should go through those things. Yeah. Any other reason is self-inflicted. Amen. 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 Do not misconstrue suffering or discomfort with suffering. Praise Him. Praise Him. So that you can call it a sin. That's not suffering. Praise His holy name. Someone parked in the spot that they usually park. Because there's a spot out there from a long time. It's not me putting it there, but it's a pastor. Well, I thank God bless if you put it, if you park in that spot and I come once up, that's not suffering. Praise the soul in it. Are you coming here? <laughs> if someone sit in the seat that you normally sit at church, Amen. that's not suffering. Amen. That's Might be a little bit this uncomfortable, but that's not suffering. Amen. Your child was not included in an activity. That's not suffering. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. When you come to church, it's a sofa. Someone of the same color hat, the same hat. That's not suffering. I wish you had gone to your castle or or St. Tilda's or Westwood. You see, I know any school when I grew up where everybody have on the exercise. So you come in with all this distress over the fact that you're wearing the same hat. That's not no suffering. So your uh, hmm. so you grew you had a growth spurt and your shoes are squeezing. Ah, uh, that's not <laughs> suffering. No, you just go to a growth spurt. Give God thanks. You might go to a growth a growth spurt horizontally. That's not, not suffering. Suffering is to endure fire and trials. Hallelujah. Undergoing it. Yeah. Praise his holy name. It's so when you're hurting, praise God. Yeah. When you're facing death, praise him. praise him. You're aching, as the sister said. You're agonizing, you're languishing, you're disadvantaged. Yeah. Praise his holy name. Him, you're rocked and wounded for Christ's sake. That's what we're studying today. Praise God. This lesson is forcing everybody sitting here and on the line to reflect. Suffering for Christ's sake is forcing you to reflect. Why am I suffering? Why am I going through it? Why am I undergoing this pressure? It forces you, one, to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. We have too much people that tell lies on themselves, be a false witness on their own self. Honesty is paramount. It's important. When you're suffering and you start to look into it, you got to say, why am I going through it? Is it somebody else's fault? No. Most likely not. Right. <laughs> you have to, the second thing I notice, you have to go back and look at the root of it. How did it come about? Amen, preacher. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. You have to be honest with yourself and you have to be able to track the root of it. Amen. Praise His holy name. Amen. We worship His holy name. Amen. We praise His holy name. Amen. And so this, this morning, um, this afternoon, suffering for Christ's sake, I'm recognizing church that um, it's a deep lesson because I want us to be reflective today. I want us to look into ourselves. I want us to recognize that even though I say don't misconstrue suffering with discomfort, 
Your level of suffering and tolerance is different from Sister Ariel. God not going to put Sister Baxter level on Sister Ariel. Amen. It's not going to happen. Amen. God not going to put Brother Aaron what he put on me on you. It's not because I'm better than you or worse than you. Because God have a plan. When you are suffering for Christ's sake, there's a plan behind it. Amen. It's not just God. Let us get the past and say, all right, suffer today. There's something that he's trying to bring out in you. And that's why this lesson is so structured to decriminalize suffering. Everybody said, why well, may I suffer? Why may I suffer? Today we want to leave out here saying, understanding why it's happening and having an appreciation for it and what it can do for you. Praise his holy name. So hence the objective here. It says, to create an awareness of the positive impact of suffering for Christ. That sounds like a paradox. Oh, okay, there's a positive when you're, when you're suffering and wounded and racked and all the words I just said. How could that be positive? Today we're going to learn that what can come out of it if you wait through it. Amen. If you don't give up, if you wait through it, what can happen? Praise his holy name. Are we ready to learn today? Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Yes. We bless the name of the Lord. Yes. We glorify God. Yes. Jesus did not back down. He went through it. Yes, sir. And he came up with a mighty blessing. Praise God. Um, any questions or comments? Sister, Sister Navira. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Greetings in Jesus' name. Greetings. Um, as I looked at verse 3 of the scripture reading, um, Pastor, and I look at the sins that were listed, and I realized that um, most of these things that we get caught up in, they are based on our desires. Yeah. And so, something happened to me, um, I think it was last week, and um, it really got me thinking about the lesson. Um, I saw this, this trend that is happening now that I liked. And um, I thought of you know, wearing it. And when I asked around ministers and brethren, um, I was told no. And I was a bit disappointed because it looked nice to me. Right. And then um, I, I prayed about it. Not, not for God to reveal it to anybody that they should allow me to wear it or anything like that. But I prayed for God to really teach me to accept the answer that I was given willingly and to just move on. And while I was praying, what came to me was that... Um, as the church, we have to be in a mode of letting go. We can't, we can't um, be so attached to the things of this earth. Praise God. We have to be in a mode of letting go. We, we hold on to things too much. And it's, and it's to please our, our desires. Praise God. And we are not putting the will of God... Um, we're not allowing the will of God to take precedence over the desires that we have. And so because of that, we go after all of these things in the world and it causes us to really lose our way and to, as Brother Jonathan said this morning, to suffer wrong. Praise God, we're not suffering for the, for the sake of Christ, but we're suffering wrong. And so um, I just wanted to share it that we have to be in a state of letting go. Don't get too attached to, to the things of this earth. The scripture says that you must lay up treasures in heaven where moth and rust does not corrupt. It also says that we're supposed to set our affections on things above and not on things of this earth. And when you think about affection, it's a word that is sometimes synonymous with love. And so it means that we're not supposed to love anything here, but we're supposed to love the things, the heavenly things, praise God, so that we can strive to go on to perfection. Amen. 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 Praise him, say. That's an excellent comment, um, Sister Nikki. God bless you. Uh, we're, we're on earth, we're really focused on space. 
filling space. Yes, you, you, uh, I, for real. And, and God is focused on time. Mm -hmm. I've said it over and over. Think about it. We are focused on space. Yes. A car, a house, a wife, uh, um, the furniture to put in the house. All of those things take up space. God is focused on time. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. God is focused on time. What is your reward going to be? Eternal life. That's the most important facet of the reward. A lot of us are focused too much on the space, what are here, our clothes, yes. our shoes, space, things that take up space. God is a lot more focused on time. Spend time with Him, spend time with your children, the things that are lasting, things that will move, not only on this dimension, but when God comes, this is how we keep Sabbath. Amen. 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 So the praise the Lord. Amen. Let me be to all the precious name of Jesus. Greetings. As I was looking through Acts 14 version, and I, when I look and see Paul and Barnabas, version after the man then do a great work. The people said they were man and now one man. They said, what well, that was a Jupiter hour and a murk. The man, the man said, these men are gods. But Paul, listen to me. Paul said, no man. Paul hoped him himself. Yes. And the man started to tell us, no man, we are, we are, we are like man just like you. Yes. But we are going to tell us something. What gets by? He said, people, he said, I saw the man put them up. He said, Father, from one place to a list of the Father. And he said, The man, cities that they stole, Paul. Listen to me. They made sure they stole the man, the man suffered the man. They stole the man and left the man to die. Yes. Listen to me. <laughs> he said that the, the disciples and killer rolling in the car, they, they, they texted the man, they didn't know. But what can't be a virgin? After that, Paul said, we still have one. Come on, sir, brother. Yes. Lord of mercy. Listen to me. After all that, listen to me, virgin. Yes. Sometimes people, listen to me. Sometimes people do what they And the first thing, you know, we tell ourselves, uh, we, we, we go down, we don't have we don't know but what gives me that good up down this toilet? Paul has a boy in the way. Yes, they departed to, to their period. Yes. Yes. The man said, We're going to check upon these brethren. Brethren, who chose to forever? What we do? Do we keep up? Do we cut off? I will continue to strive. Brethren, when I was looking through the memory verse, because I, I like to read hope and see why. Why these words were said. Yes. And brethren, when I really look and see what the man go through, that the man does say, boy, come on, let's go. We have to check up on the other ways, brethren. Brethren, through our suffering, what are we doing? Are we going to let go? Or are we going to press on? Listen to me. Paul, listen to me. God didn't tell him, he tell him, he said, I was so happy for him, he said, yes, And then he said that he that did God, they must suffer. Brethren, yes, I try to show you. The power of, we, 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 houses and land, that is the power that we, 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 we like, you know. Oh, no. But the, the power said, we persecution. We look over at the power, you know. Everybody want to know when they come to Christ. You understand me? We try to try to try nice care. We have big hosts. You understand me? But when they come out to the persecution part, as soon as we start, we just stop partying. We start crying. Why me? Why me? But when they, when the blessing come, you understand me? You must say, Floyd, this is our poor, poor enough. Fill my cup and let it overflow. But when the suffering comes with, you understand me? We start crying, why me? We don't ask last that I give me strength. That I can come out as pure good. Amen. Praise him. Praise the Lord. Well said, Deacon. Well said. Everybody get it? Yes. Paul was stoned. Yes, sir. But the 
Paul quoted in Corinthians, Second Corinthians yes, 11 this morning. Yes, he might say he was stoned. Yes. Bridget, this is the story of him getting stoned. Oh, yes, yes. You understand that they stoned him. And then they, they, they drive out oh, of the city. Oh, he's clean now. Yes, yes, you don't know, get it. Yes, yes, he's dead, so he's unclean now. Yes. So they drive out of the city. Yes, and the disciples get around looking at the dead, dead. Bridget, this is what kills Stephen. Yes, 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 These yes, are yes, experts, yes, stoners. Yes, we are talking about. Um, rookie stoners. Oh, They're big league, <laughs> super league stoners. They executed Stephen by stone. Yes. Yes. When about Stephen was he have no one? Yes. When was he stars? Yes. The man of Jesus sitting on the right hand of God. Yes. That's when I lick him. Yes. And Paul got the same thing. You think that of Paul? Of God said, "This is just a part." God did tell. God did tell the man of God, and He said, "He want to see how much he must suffer." Because yes, when the man stood, Steve, he stood up like this. Yes, man. 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 Lick him but not kill him. Lick him but not kill him. He can't let, can't let. I'm preaching that just take the look at him because I'm enough. For them, I dry him and he now breathe, he now move. When he tear him out, they are clean. The dead are clean. And left him outside of the city. The disciples came to mourn. And they said, boys, look what he did. He might get up and say, what? What? Let's go. Let's go. God have mercy. But these disciples were used to Amen. seeing somebody walking on water. They were used to seeing. You look at what I'm saying. They were used to seeing the miracles of God. So when they saw him get up, they said, let's go because oh, somebody was to They experienced Jesus. So they knew that this, it's okay. Praise is all in it. You have a youth because experience. Come on. So the Lord is okay. Praise is all in it. So when Paul get up, Bridget, some of us why Jim, I want to go to church. Why? We feel, we feel a little pain, a little soreness. We feel a little soreness. We feel a little, um, we go run, a little lap, do two burpees. Well, burpees going in. The burpees and two squats and we, we don't want to come to church because we're so feeling the soreness. Today is our rest day. Yes. Yes. If you don't work out, you don't know what I'm talking about. Come on. Yes. People are confirming I work out. Yes. 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 Why are you making noise? Yes. 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 She's a work out person. Right? She go, I, call, I call you. She, she, she working on me. She called me on this week. She said, we got to. You, pass, you got to. Hey, push. She said, Pastor, you got to join me. So I know you're working on me. Keep it up. <laughs> so stop asking what I'm going through you. Back pain. Sister <laughs> Sophie, I'm coming to you, but Paul got up yeah. despite the stone pain. Yes, sir. And he said, We're gonna go to Derby. Yes, sir. But Barnabas, are you ready? Yes, sir. You think Barnabas could say no? Because when Barnabas look, him say blood. Yeah. Him say, 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 say um, injury. Yes. We're talking about injury yes. suffered. And the man is wiping out the blood and said, Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. So when you see somebody who has been through something, say that worship. Sometimes you don't see it. But if you could just come with them, you get the blessing and them. Oh, somebody worship God. Oh, somebody worship God. If you could just let go of what you are feeling. They confirmed the soul. Yeah. When Paul walked in, he was walking in with the blood stains. Yes. So when the preacher yeah. see that this man has been through it and he's still worshiping, yeah. we got to keep going. Yeah. We're not going to give up. God there's a blessing in following Jesus. Yeah. And the soul for Christ said, They can lick you, you're going to feel it, but you're going to get up yeah. with a renewed faith. Imagine they put you and they track you and they carry your name through the mud.
up yes, and you have no, you feel like you don't exist anymore. Yeah. And they put you outside the city, the church, the, the, the synagogue. Yes. And they, they put you down and then all of a sudden, Jesus comes and stands around you and says, get up. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to work now. Yeah. You got the blood stains, you look like me now. You can't work on me now because you look like me now. You don't hear what I'm saying? You are, you are, you're walking like me now. Well, bless the name of Jesus. The Bible said he was despised and rejected. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. He said, Oh, bless the name of Jesus. The Bible said he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have gone every man to his own way. Praise his own name. So, praise him. I'm excited, Deacon, that you brought it up. That Paul, they supposed he was dead. And a lot of times when you're going through suffering, if you really see through it, the brethren will look at you and think you're dead. Spiritual. Because you're struggling. And the weak will think you're dead. But if you listen to the voice of God and just get up, you can march to Derby by faith. Come on. I'll bet you. Wherever you need to go to reclaim, praise God. Praise Him. Sister Sophia. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, the scriptures that I always remind myself of, brethren, especially when I'm going through a hard time, is Hebrews 12. Um, verse 3 and 4 says, For consider him that endures such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest he be weary and faint in your minds. He have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And that's pretty much what you, what you just described, what Paul went through, how he was beaten. I mean, one moment they're, they're um, healing the main men and the people all almost worship them. And the next minute they were being beaten. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, um, I, I, I use this to remind myself, brethren, because every time I feel like, you know, it's too much for me or I want to say, why me, Lord? I say, I'm not bleeding. Nobody's killing me. Praise his holy name. And I have yet to see one of us in my dispensation that have died for the last for sin. Praise his holy name. Because we give it to the little, the little things, pass the light things. Praise and pass it like affliction. Praise his holy name. And and think that the world is on our shoulder. As we were singing the song this morning um, about take up the cross. Some of us want a special cross to carry because yes. it looks it look terrible to hear such a word. It looks manageable. Praise the name of Jesus. It, it looks it, it, it look pretty. It looks nice. Like Praise his holy name. But when Jesus chose your cross, the scripture says that he, he will not give you more than you can bear. Pastor, sometimes I, I, I feel like I'm struggling, but I remember the words of God. He won't give me more than I can bear. And sometimes I say, Lord, you must really think to me strong. Why you give me this to bear? But I, 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 I rejoice in whatever I'm going to pass in. Pastor, he rejoices in infirmity. So that the power of Christ will rest upon him. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Jesus endured it all, brethren. And it's not like he was spirit and power. And he was flesh. When in the pinch you may feel it just like me and you. Praise his holy name. And the scripture says he went through it. And he says that as a lamb to the slaughter. Some of us have too much mouth. Praise his holy name. We love to, we love to retaliate within the words too much. Praise his holy name. Sometimes we have to learn to be silent as a lamb. And take the lashing and glorify God. Praise his holy name. Because we haven't yes, we re yet resisted unto blood. Praise his holy name. I do have a question based on the scripture that I just read. But... I'm going to do midday. Praise him another time. We'll go back into our lesson. Thank you, Deacon, for 
for the comprehensive prayer on behalf of the saints. He said effective, fervent prayer. The righteous avail it much. And we give God thanks for all of you who requested prayer. I pray that God will by faith touch and hear your prayer. Praise is all in name. Um, Sister Fraser, you were at the cost of asking a question. Please do so. Praise his name. All right, so the Spirit said that Jesus endured contradiction of sinners. Should we expect testing or persecution from those of the household of faith? Praise him. Praise Lord. Should we expect persecution from within the church? Yes, sir. You can say yes. Anybody else say yes? If you say yes, but Riley, you say yes. Back it up with not just yes. Anybody can say yes or no, but what back it do you have? What, what um, evidence do you have? Praise the Lord. Um, greetings, ceremony in Jesus' name. Um, I don't remember the exact scripture, but um, there's a scripture that talks about the wheat and the tears. And it says that there will be some people in the, the blessed church of God that will be the wheat and some will be the tears. Some will seal. And there's a saying that I always hear, um, holier than thou, the people who are holier than thou, the people that everything that they, um, everything you do, them say, are better than better than them, better than this, and they, they mock and they jeer and they say all of these different things. So we should expect it. Um, no matter what comes, we're going to get that fight regardless of how you live or how you try. There's always going to be a set because there are some set again that are the tears that are going to try and pull you down, that are going to try and justify their way of living, their way of doing things, their way of just being on the um, level of, of that level of that's the word I'm looking for. Um, you know, just being complacent. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right, thank you. Praise him. And by the way, you think? You think you can have um, criticism from within the church, persecution, trial from within? Is it possible? Praise the Lord. Praise, him. Praise, Praise him. the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Him. Praise him. Amen. I love this question. Can you have persecution from within the church? Should there be? There's another question. Should not? But there is. Because he says he's coming for a church within the church. And when you're here, the enemy doesn't stop bothering you. The enemy doesn't stop seeking after your soul because you're within among brethren. There's always going to be someone, something, even when it's intentional or not intentional, that will say something because words mean something, don't they? Yeah. Words hurt. And they don't even have to physically hit you. Sometimes the words that people use, you would rather them slap you in the face because the words are, have a long lasting sting. And then they, they, the, the words come in and it drives a wedge within people and they don't want to talk to you and this person doesn't want to talk, to talk to that person and it all because of something someone said. So you, yes, you can have persecution from within the church. Well, all right. Raise him. Raise right, him. I'm still, I'm still waiting for some, back some real scripture. I wait for some. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, brother, brother Riley. He said I can't quote the exact one, but I want to hear something. No, you have time to think. Wait. Anybody else? Brother Roger, I'm praising, praising, one praise him, praise him, one, one answer. Praise him, praise him, one, one answer. What, what is it? You can persecution from within, from within. We are preaching there. All the scripture, the scripture talk about. Different scenarios. I want to hear what you got. What you got? I'm coming. I'm coming. Me not here. Me not here. Nobody. 
The question Sister Fraser asked me is, can persecution come from, he says, she, talk, she quoted the scripture about it coming from without, but what about within, yes? Praise the Lord. Praise him. Praise him again. Oh. Praise him. I was taking a line of spiritual care, spiritual care and love to the, the brethren can cause some situation. Because, you see, let me explain to you. When you love somebody, I mean, you, you treat them, you just, you just, you just you despite of what going on, you treat them a certain way. And then you have to love, then as a, as a person of God, you have to love everybody. You have to love everybody. This, this cause, this man's father is like an example of what I'm going on. We're going to say this, because of his care and his, and, and his love for the people. And he himself fall in a place because when he says certain things, not right, it worries him. That man can't even sleep. That man right now is ill because of the love we have for the church. You see what I'm So there got to be something in here that caused that problem because you know somebody showed real love. You see what I'm Jesus himself, the same way. The man the man disturbed because even the people that that, that he he he, he, he look over. The same as they have, have scriptures like all like all tell God choose twelve and, 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 and one of them. The same as they so right now in, in, in the church. Now even with Jesus, man, look at Jesus, Jesus choose these people. Yeah. And there's one in there that is yeah, some of the preacher, but I think it does the love of people. Right now, this I'm not giving an example living in the church right now that this man when he, he he has done so much and did so much and talked so much and tears so much and um, is a is a living witness that this man is ill because of his care for, for all these people. So when you think think you think the um persecution that in the church, then you run because you know uh, there, 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 there's so much proof and even the biggest proof is that Jesus himself had his disciples and he chose them and there was one that was you know that caused Shall we praise the Lord? But I wrote search and search till he found. Fine, look what I wrote. Bridget, you never see Miss Warren and they ask the lady about what look more financial and she does because she studied education. She does answer about education. They really are going with preachers. In the ending, catch it though. Man, catch it can give you a word. That Jesus chose 12. And, and that represented the church. That, that's a perfect example. And from within the core group, one of them was the one who, if, who, who sold him up. Who actually made the, the betrayal. And he suffered because of it. Yes, preacher. It, you're, you're, that's a great example. But when you start from this, brother, <laughs> <laughs> you see my stuff in low, but you know, Judas. <laughs> You're good, though. I like it. I like it. But if you follow, brother, I wrote my faith. <laughs> but if you follow, you get a blessing. Yeah. Sister Fraser, you get it? I see brother Boxer, and you have a scripture for me? Um. I'm thinking of a, a scenario in a scripture. I don't know if it's it, um, right. can So I was looking at people as a whole, because I'm looking at the church as a you know, whole. You know, we are a, a bunch of people. So I was thinking about the story of Moses. Mm -hmm. um, when um the sister um Miriam speak against him yeah. in the church, you know, and, and, and because of that, you know, um she had error and they were speaking against him. Said, I got a long time, got a long time to, you know, so to, I, I look at it as a whole, like as a church, you know, a, a group of people. And you don't have people that, that's going to speak against you. You don't have, you don't have, you don't have people that are going to disagree with, with your, your, your way of leading or, or what are thinking or whatever it is. You know, so that's all the persecution. I, so that's how I, I use that. I, 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 I don't know. Thumbs up or not yet? Thumbs up, okay? When I'm about to they agree, they, they, they didn't get not yet, they said they, they accept the fact that Miriam was a part, in fact, she was a prophet. Yes. She and Aaron were a part of the, um, um, the leadership group, and they critiqued him and tore him down. Yes. And the, 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 the Bible said that that had to deal with her rough. She get leprosy. Yes. And then she had to stay outside the camp. So, yes, preacher, we accept the story. Yes. Sister Lyle. Yes, I was thinking about um, Psalm 41, verse 9. Where it said, Yea, my own familiar friend, and I trust it, where it 
eat bread on my table as the day of his in against me. When you think about all of the trend against David in that time, um, you will see him as if somebody, um, that he was alone, there was nobody who, you know, even though he had so much friends, he had his family and his even own children that turned against him, and yes, it can come from within. So you're saying his friends were part of the church? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Thumbs up or not yet? Thumbs up? Not yet. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I agree, sister. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. The mindset, the mindset, the mindset. He, he, he is, is very familiar, friend. What was that suffering for? He? What was the suffering for? So, Van is going back to my original question, my original thing, that you have to be reflected. When you're suffering, is it for Christ's sake, or is it because of your own? Self-inflicted wounds. Okay. The man go up on the balcony, mm. see the lady up there, okay. him should have there one, yes. praise yes. him. Yes. When the prophet said, Do the man, the prophet said, The sword now leave your house. Yes. So when I tell him, Line up, you want them, yes. it's because they have been lined up by Chiba. Yes. 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 You get it? You get it? Yes. 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 The secret that I said, we love school. Because if you just look at the scripture, right? Up, yeah. It's a thumbs up. Oh, you look at the depth of it. If you listen to what I said at the beginning, Why? you have to reflect. Not even David was suffering. Yeah. Because 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 David was that's a good one though. And I'm not gonna lie to you. If, if it's just because they're really deep, the only the only not yet, but it was a good one. It, on the surface it looked like my very familiar friend. The, the concept of it is right. Alright. Did I have a hand before D come in one spoil? Sister Nikki, I'm, I I don't wanna spoil it. I know D can come in one I'm thinking about. I was just thinking of Job and his virgin and his wife. You're just, thinking, you're just thinking about them. I'm thinking about them too. Yeah. What are you thinking about them? Juicy, juicy. Where wife said? She told him to curse down and die. But you, that is, that is, that is, that is, this is a person we have ten children with. Him. Yes. We are, we are, we are on this side. Yeah. And what I'm saying is that she, they were part of the same um church. Mm -hmm. And she said, curse down and die. So what I'm learning then, Banji, is that your wife or your husband can disagree totally yeah. and cause of suffering and persecution. Mm. Praise him. Yeah. Praise him. Yeah. Fast brethren, fast, fast husband <laughs> and fast wife. <laughs> the man just said, my wife, said, God, God and die. Yeah. So Virginia, you have to be strong. So she had a trail of God more than all of him. <laughs> She said, I would have put this man, mm, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do know you. <laughs> when he rise up, you have to say, I am for the Lord. Yes, the Lord. Amen. Preacher, make sure you that more than you know, man. when she said, why, well, make me nobody with this. You have to stand up strong. Mm -hmm. All right, give me my pen first. Let me see that. Sister Riley, are you quoted? You make sure, say, you make sure, say, you want to tell Barry Riley and the family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to close the show. <laughs> uh, Praise the Lord. When I read Mark 8, and they talk about Peter, when Jesus said that type of thing, Peter started to rebuke Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus always said, Get behind, ends, behind these Satan. <laughs> so, Bridget, sometimes that we expect to try it in the house again. God get my husband and repeat that. And Jesus, let me tell you, see, that you did not realize that Satan is going on. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Where are you going to Second, Is that judgment? No. That's in the scripture reading. Paul said he fell among false brethren. He was listing the same um, scripture that the, like brother, um, brother Paul quoted this morning, Second Corinthians, when he talked about being beaten five times, yeah. even 40 stripes save one. If you put on it, there's one card that says yeah. all's virgin. Yeah. 
own countrymen. Same thing that man you talk about. Yes, so preaching what I'm saying, it is possible. We are that Judas. We are about um uh, anybody ever read that judgment was first begin? Yes, sir. Which part is it? Which part is it to begin? No, I was going to ask for the bridging school. If you could please elaborate. Tell me some of the things about it. In those. Why do you mean? The prison? But what we're what we're saying is that if you look at what Judas did, his actions brought on his actions brought on the guilty verdict on Jesus. When he kissed him, when he kissed him yes. and betrayed him, that was the that was one of the, the main events that led to the guilty verdict. Do we want give us Mar Barabbas and take Jesus, crucify Jesus? Amen. We're saying, preacher, that people will say, yes, you do it when they don't do it. Anybody ever tell that for you? Are you wonder if you believe it too? And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about associates in the world. I'm ashamed to say, but preaching life till already. I would have sitting there wondering, this can't be a lie because who tell it? But I know me. Yes. And I know it's not true. Yeah. Amen, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. But Fraser, you were there with me one at a time. When the light, you were that blessed preacher, you were there. Yes. You want to stop the car from come out and take some breath. Some yeah. wait, a breath to call it? Breath? <laughs> for me to breathe. Ear. To take ear. ear. <laughs> Praise him down in South Florida. See, Brother Fraser, he was with me. He was the one that was brave enough to ask me. Then preacher, go on for no. Oh, you do the word so, but this is what? He was the one, he was the one that asked me. You remember, preacher? And you asked me. Everybody had gone on me, go on me. And the man said, Oh, you can't bring the word, and I do this. All day. That man asked me, the preacher. Oh, yeah. And when the man laid down, he said, Oh, my God. People, the wicked, they hear about the word, the name Rowan. Yes. And they think it's this one. And they know that we have another Rowan here. You see that? Yeah. And they spread a rumor lie till we start believing. We start to wonder if I'm true. Yes. <laughs> so what I'm saying, brethren, that you can you can have situations, yes. preacher, where um, I'm giving you examples. Judas's betrayal caused the death of Christ. Um, a person can a person can um, uh, whatever they do, it causes people to. To build a perception of you which can be um, unsettling and bring suffering. Yes. Um, those are basic examples. Um, um, because judgment means like um, in, in the in the in the raw sense of the word judgment, it means the, the consequence for action. So imagine if you're receiving consequences for something that is not per se you didn't do and stuff like that. These are things that can happen. And what I'm saying is that Jesus said, "In come, preacher, to bring to bring swords." So, can you read it? Yes, yes, yes. So what happens is that when you, when your child get up and say yes, see some of keep on the mama there. Hello. Yeah. Some of it not some of it is to come in. You know? yes. When people that know you go, they, they know you or whatever, and they say they they back down and they say yes. See them there. They, they, these are part of the church. Yes, it can be as deadly as that. So those are examples. Sister Fraser, so we gave, thank you much. So we gave a bunch of like, um, scenarios. You want to come back to close? I'll give you a chance to, to, to close. And then we're going to go to the first question. If you plan to read, please uh, get ready after Sister Fraser. Praise the Lord. Praise the um, So listening to all the scriptures and the words that were said, brethren, then it, it brings back that uh, verse early in the scripture reading that says that we have to arm ourselves because um, if it can come from anywhere and let me tell you people are here and and they're saying that they let the guard down and they never use them yes and so we have to be sober we have to be vigilant yes. praise the soul in name yes. i remember brethren when i um when the lord you know led us to move from florida to here and um I remember the last day I was in the house in um, that we had in Florida and we were I was cleaning it up because it was closing the following day 
And as I was cleaning up the refrigerator, brethren, the you know the shelves in there and has a glass on it. One of the glass fell the sharp edge on my toe. And brethren, I tell you that was it was days of pain yeah. and it, it was really bad. And I mean I couldn't even walk properly and somebody it was mentioned among family, among brethren, that oh that was a sign that I shouldn't move to Georgia. And brethren, if I had really take that to heart. To Come say, God, look who I'm trying to do your will, and you make this happen to me. Come you know, on. I wouldn't be here. But brethren, I live to see God's glory. I live to see yep. all the things that God because I know I was moving yep. according to the will of God. When I when I went home and I sat down because I wasn't I was I, I, I wasn't sure I said, God, what would you have me to do? And the only word that God brought to me more than once was what was what Eli said to, to Samuel. You know, um it is the Lord, let him do what seemed him good. And that was it for me, brethren. And I'm telling you, the house in Florida couldn't sell. Pastor, you remember? Your man changed up the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hurricane. Tear down the Aki tree. How the, 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 the process delay and delay and delay, brethren. When I was there by myself, struggling with the kids, it was hard. I just had a baby. My brother Fraser came here. Abby was six weeks old. She was really young. I had high blood pressure, all kinds of different things, brethren. And so many things were said. Even at work, the bosses were like, you know, we have, we have plans for you. Where are you going? Why are you moving? And Pastor, they built up the supervisor um, cubicle in front of me and said, this was yours. Pastor, they do all kinds of things. But I, I know what the will of the Lord was for me. And see, today they, they're shutting down where I would have been. And a lot of people are left without jobs. Praise the soul in They're shutting it down. They shut it down. And God moved me. Two years before, they didn't see that, but God saw it. Praise yeah. this holy name. Yeah. So all through the struggle, brethren, yeah. when I was there trying to patch up the house, fix and paint by myself, sometimes because Brother Fraser wasn't there to do it. Praise this holy name. I remember when the Lord told me that he was he was the one to be my husband. And when I got married, somebody said, Oh, she married somebody who can't even take care of her. Oh, Jesus. Pastor. Pastor. Let me tell you something. I get to take care of till I don't know what to do with myself. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise his holy name. And so we we to listen to the words that these are people are part of the church that make these statements. Pray when they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be encouraging you and lifting you up and building up your your, your strength in the faith. Praise his holy name. That's why these apostles they are men that are that are the custodians of the gospel. The scripture said Paul went back and they exhort them to continue in the faith, even though they were beaten. Praise his holy name. And that is what we as children of, of God are to do. We are to build up each other and not tear down each other. But if you come, make sure you overcome because you need to stand for yourself. You need to know God for yourself and know what the will of God is for you. God bless you in Jesus' name. I am blessed by the comment, the question. It's a blessing. Brethren, um, as I'm saying, um, I don't want to add too much, just to say that God is the real the author yes. and the finisher. Yes. All right? He's the one that really um, do, does it. And um, sis, believe me, when, when it, it, it takes time for your, to, to see the end of your suffering. But when, 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 when the things are said, you don't, no, no, you don't feel joyous at that time. You feel good. But when you see the results, when you see the blessings, when you when when God allows you to live through, when 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 the big trials come and you see how oh, those situations really set you up to be successful, yeah. you have to say, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is good, brethren. God is great. His mercy is everlasting. Righteousness will come through. Don't know. <laughs> Who's ready for question one? What did Jesus warn? Thank you, Sister Fraser, um, and the virgin who answered ministers. What did Jesus warn his disciples to expect? John 16, 1 to 3. I want you to read from verses 1 to 3. Um, please make the correction in your quarterlies. It should be from verses 1 to 3. Thank you, Sister Nikki, for us. She put it on the line yesterday, if you had a look. Right? I think you put it there. This one, yeah. Thank you so much. From questions 1 to 3. From um, verses 1 to 3. Read, Sister. Verse 1, these things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. Mm -hmm. They shall put you out of the synagogue, ye the time cometh, that whosoever killeth you, think that he will at service. Yeah. 
and these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. Um, Sister Teresa, Sister Cheryl, what did Jesus want his disciples to expect? That um, he told the pretty in the, in the, um, in the church, you must uh, arm yourself, arm your mind um, mm -hmm. for what is to come. Whatever comes your way, be strong to overcome. Mm -hmm. He warned them, thank you so much, to expect suffering. I love what you said. They should not be offended. Me is the same thing that Peter was saying, to arm your mind, arm yourself. It's the exact same thought I had. So since he was warning them to expect suffering, expect expulsion from the, from the temple. To be put out, expect death. In the pretense of people doing God's work. Yeah, that's what Saul People say, that expect death. And Saul was the, the one who perpetrated the death of Stephen. Yeah. The brethren there, he was, he was on his way to Damascus to do more damage. Praise God. So what did Jesus want his disciples like suffering? Are we expected to have the same suffering? Yes. And so because we are part of Christ, expect challenges and suffering likewise. Question 2. It says, identify an experience we identify an experience we must encounter before entering the kingdom of God. It should we be surprised when it comes? Acts 14, 22, 1 Peter 4, 12, and 1 Peter 2, verse 21. Three readers. Acts 14, go ahead. Acts 14, 22. I'm looking for a reader for 1 Peter 4, Praise verse 12. I'm looking for a reader for 1 Peter 2, verse 21. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. First Peter four verse twelve. Angie, use the mic. Please. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you. As though some strange things happen unto you. First Peter two verse twenty one. For even here unto we are ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that he should follow his steps. So, Sister Baxter, starting with you, since you have the mic there. Um, give me an experience we must encounter. Oh, sorry, your your part you said and should we be surprised when it comes? No, he said that um, it will suffer and that we should follow his steps. Amen. So suffering like Christ is ex to be expected. Bunch what you got up here? He said we should not think it's strange when we so, suffer. Um, the fire trials. The fire trials. So the fire trials is the encounter. And should we, we should not be surprised because he says don't think it's strange. Um, and then First Peter, Sister David, uh, what should we expect? Um, I had Acts 14. Acts 14. Um, yes. We must experience great tribulation. Tribulation. Suffering. Praise and say. Praise and worship the Lord. So we are saying then, Peter is saying, arm yourself. Jesus says, don't be offended because it's going to happen. Yeah. We're getting these clouds of witnesses. We're getting right. multiple sources and experiences that suffering is going to happen. Yes, Hardship, disadvantages, um, there's some jobs that you're not going to get. Amen. Hello? Amen. There's some jobs that you can't even apply for. Some careers that is not for you. And the church is quiet. Amen. But I believe it. There are places that is not for you. And that is not even suffering. It's just the willingness to sacrifice and not do it. That's how things are looking at suffering. It's, the, it's, it's a sacrifice. <laughs> Praise Him. Amen. Praise Him. Amen. So there are places if you never go, you don't lose much. No, sir. Yeah. There are experiences that you don't have. If you don't have them, you're not suffering. You're just making a sacrifice for Christ. God of mercy. Praise Him. Amen. Praise Him. By the hand up and by the pope. Uh, praise the Lord. Praise him. Um, um, greetings, everyone, in Jesus' name. Greetings. Um, I have a question from online. Yes. And it was based on what you said about self-inflicting suffering or self-inflicted suffering. 
And their question is, how should we treat those who are suffering based on their own actions? Um, I'm coming. I'm going to answer that later on. No. I, have, I have something to... I'm very right. Can you remind me to get back to it? I, there's a question which we're going to answer that. Yes, Thank you very much. Well, boy, you have something else? Uh, there was another question online. Someone was asking... Very right. Remind me to answer that question. Okay. So I was asking, is there a difference? Is there a different type of suffering for Christ versus being a busybody? I can ask a similar question. I'll answer both of those questions okay, when I'm addressing them. Raising? There's a note. There's a note. All the females, please stand. All ladies, females, please stand and read this note. Thank you, all the ladies, please stand. Go ahead, females, read. Sisters, females. When there is a friendly storm, the meteorologist sends out first a watch and then a warning. Those who pay attention to these will try to reduce the impact of the storm on them. We are no longer at the level of the watch, but a warning. If the top down time is ahead, batten them down and submerge with safe arms or speed the river. Prison, and that button should be B A T T E N. Um, sister, 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 Dunn, we what do you think about this note? Do you have a, an additional comment on this note, please? We worship the Lord. Present. We just the school. Praise the Lord. Um, It's saying that we're no longer at a level of a watch, but a warning, and that in tough times ahead, we need to batten down and submerge in the safe arms of our sweet deliverer, Jesus. Uh, praise God. The thought that I'm having is that um, we've been given the warnings all along. We've been getting them. Uh, we've been told what we need to do. Glory to God. And so when the storm does come upon us, it shouldn't be something surprising. It shouldn't be something that is unexpected because we've been told it's coming. And glory to God. And so therefore, as the tough times come in, it's not a time to give up. It is not a time to lay down and say, I can't do this. It's not a time to say, I just, you know, let me just go back to what I was doing before. Because, you know, this is not going to work out for me. But it is a time to dig deeper in Christ. It is a time to, if you weren't fasting enough, it's the time to do, if you were doing one day up into two days or three days, if you weren't reading, it's a time to dig into the scripture. If you weren't worshiping, if you weren't praying, it is a time to dig in further. It is a time to understand who God is and what he can do and what he will do according to the words, according to his riches in glory, according to his will. It is not a time, but sometimes, you know, when things come up on us, the first thing we might do is worry or we will say, how we, how am I going to get through this? But if we change it, it's how, how am I going to do this through Christ who strengthens me? When we say that I can conquer this because God gives me the strength. Where I am weak, he is strong. When I look at the different things and I say, you know, um, boy, God, this one really heavy. But I know that you can take the heavy burden from me. You can lighten it for me. Yes. Glory to God. It is a time where we need to just trust God. The scripture says, I believe, but help my unbelief. Bless the name of the Lord. Sometimes when we look at the storm, we forget to look past the storm and say, who created? Come I mean, on, God. Lord. It's God who created the winds and the waves and all these different things. But when the storm comes on and God allows us to go through, brethren, sometimes it's not to tear you down, but to build you up and to see what you're made of. And to see that when you trust in God that you can come through. When you lean on him, he will, he will walk you through. He says the flood will not come past you. Yeah. The fire will not burn you. Yeah, that he will be good. there. And no matter where you put your head. If you go in hell, he's there. If you go take the wings, he's there. Bless the name of Jesus. So it's a matter of trusting and believing in God. That when the storm comes, it will rise. The pillows will come. It will Brethren, we get scars, we get bruises, we get cuts, we get whatever. But Mark, I'm say, yes, this is what I went through for the sake of living for Christ. This is what I've learned to, to know that this is going to build me about who I am in Christ. Glory to God. A lot of times we're looking in the mirror and just seeing ourselves. It is time we look in the mirror and see Christ in us and through us. My few words in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, brethren. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise the
I want to give God thanks for that wonderful comment. May God bless you. Regent, the note is very clear. Amen. We are not, we are, the, the, the category, we are updating. Amen. The, the signs of the time is updated now. We are, we, are, we are at a higher level. And we have to make sure that you're ready. Arm your minds. Praise him. Amen. For, for more things to come. Praise his holy name. I was really touched by the phrase, suffering like Christ. Do we understand what Christ really went through? Just think about leaving heaven. Just think about the fact that you were God. But you thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But you made yourself, you have no reputation. Praise his holy name. Think about as a baby. The suffering he went through. Mary couldn't stay in one place. Because this king decided that Jesus must die. Yes, Anybody get it? Yes, sir. Anybody get the displacement? Yes, sir. And what is about baby and Sister Fraser spoke about um the transition of having a six week old baby. Can you imagine you have to run go Egypt? Because Aaron decides that this boy must die. Yes, and the man wiped out all the from from when the wise men didn't come back, he wiped out all the little crew them from zero to two. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Imagine you have to be wrong. You see, we want to be like Christ, but I'm telling you, from birth, he was going through it. Imagine you're born a Bethlehem, live in Egypt, and come back and become Nazarene. Yes. No violent city. You're all over the world and the preaching of the gospel. Imagine as you, as you get used to, 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 to Bethlehem here. This place. Well, this place. Mommy Mary, you're there in Egypt. Yes, sir. As you get used to Egypt here, you're there, you're there in Nazareth. Yes, sir. Anybody get it? Yes, the struggle as a child. But preaching, one thing I noticed. Also, your father have a, your, your father have a jacket. <laughs> anybody get it? Preaching, anybody get suffering? Oh, get the preacher. Yes. Jesus wouldn't know it. But you can imagine the dark magic. Then just married. And me and baby come. Okay, Bridget, you know, you know, you just get it, I understand. When me and him have got you, we have a barn of fornication. Anybody understand? This, 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 Jesus just raised up, preacher. Just with this, with this stigma attached to us. Praise his holy name. Yeah, yeah. But I thank God, Bridget, when I look deeper, I look at the genealogy of Jesus. I was reading it just this week. I mean, I said, well, the kingdom is a big at Joseph. I said, well, it's a Joseph. I'm Joseph. I'm not even Jesus' father. Yeah. But Bridget, when I look, there was a curse. Yes. No, get it to yeah. There was a curse on that generation. Yeah. That was put on Jeconiah. The man of God said, you, you not now come of your seed. Mm -hmm. So when I look that Jesus was actually Joseph jacket, he wasn't the bloodline per se of Joseph, Joseph, but more Mary side. Well, let me say Jesus. But you said God is real. God made it that he became from a virgin. And not Joseph, his father. Because the Bible tells you what would happen of his life. You don't believe me, go look at it for yourself. I was so amazed by God. I was so young, I pray. I said, God, you're too good. Yeah. God, you're too real. I was looking at his reasoning. I mean, I said, God, you're too real. I'm, I was like, God, you don't die to say, this is my reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise him. Yeah. Can you imagine, brethren, knowing the hearts that Jesus got out? Every time you read the Bible, he said, Jesus knew what was in their hearts. Yeah. Imagine you raise up. You're seven or eight. And you know, so the boy don't like it, but this is not love him. You get what I'm saying, preacher? Yes. The suffering. You know what, what your friends are thinking. Like we know, like we, you sit in there smiling, have to take a smile for it. Yes. Oh, you're so pleasant and sweet. Yes. Jesus knew this man who has said, I wish he could have us dead. Jesus, hear all your thoughts. You know, Think about that Jesus walking around. And the man said, Watch your jacket. <laughs> and Jesus have the power of a dumb you. And Jesus make you still come. Yes. Can you imagine that suffering to know the truth about what people actually think about? Praise his holy name. See, we want to be like Christ. 
God of mercy. We are ready yet. We want to stop chat. Want to stop chat comment. Want to Facebook comment. I will shut down. Jesus was walking around. I said, I had to stop chat comment. So see, I had the Facebook, the Facebook. He's a Sibantia. We hear a bunch of shadow and ago. And Jesus still loved them. A.K.A. Judas. <laughs> anyway, what was in his heart? Was he still making it with him? Praise the Lord in him. We bless the name of the Lord. The Bible says he's despised and rejected. But he still saw Israel as a lost sheep. Even though he came to them and they didn't receive him. Praise his holy name. He was crucified as a criminal. But I thank God that he was resurrected, Lord of all. Anybody get the juice? Amen. To be like Christ, Jesus started from from the man he was suffering yes, until his death. Yeah. Praise his holy name. Yes, and brethren, if you don't believe me, when he was twelve, he was arguing with the men who studied yeah. for years, the doctors of the law. He was arguing with them because he had more knowledge than them. God, he made knowledge. Yes, so imagine walking around with all this poor and have to humble himself. To the death of the cross, the man said, I thirst. Yeah. Yet he made the reference. He could have caught 10,000 angels. Imagine walking around with all that power. And you have to subdue it. Imagine, virgin, that's why Jesus said, What a I don't realize. Every finger I ain't got to people. What a realize. The man got two finger around. I raise it. He got a Lazarus, he 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 raise it. He got a Amen. Amen. If you want to suffer like Christ, think about it. Jesus went through all that and he humbled himself. Sister Nikki, you still have to love me. Pastor, even though I spoke tough to you, you still have to love me. Because that's what Jesus did. Amen. He knew, he saw what the person said to their friend around the corner, and he still played with them. Amen. As a child, I suppose. Amen. Amen. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Yes, man. He loved Judas even though he knew he would betray him. We bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give the examples of patient endurance as provided in James 5 verse 10. I just want to read it for it, but I'm going to have an activity. This is not an answer. I just want to read it for it. But first, I read James 5 verse 10. My brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example, suffering affliction and of patience. Thank you, brother Fraser. For this, for this, to bring out this actual point, I'm going to do something a bit different. I am going to ask you to think. I want some thinkers. What I'm going to do is to, I'm going to read you a, a quote. I look for like famous quotes about suffering. And I'm going to try to bring it out in this, this actual thing. So what I've done is to um, get some famous quotes about suffering. Raise him. Are you cool this? Kind of? Oh Lord. One day you're gonna have a husband like Sister Nikki that just give you his jacket. <laughs> just just um God is God is gonna provide for you. Just wait, okay? And the church said wait. Wait. <laughs> <It's> cool right <laughs> Praise him. We worship the Lord. So, Sister Ariel, since you're, since you're volunteered, could you do some for me? I'm going to re- what I'm going to do is to read the quote, right? Then you tell me of a Bible character that you're thinking about who went through that when I just read. That's the thing. Okay, I'm going to also show the church what I'm thinking. I'll find a way. I'm going to show the church how oh, oh, I'm thinking, the person I'm thinking about. And just to see if you're going to think about the same person. That's all. You ready? So come and stand right here. I'm going to read you the quote. The first one is from a lady named Helen Kelly. She said, Although the world is full of suffering, 
It is also full of the overcoming of suffering. Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it. You turn your back, I don't want them to come so they can see you. No, turn to them. This is the verse I'm thinking about. I don't know if she's going to think about the same person. See what I'm thinking about? Yes. yes. Who are you thinking about, Sister Ariel? Sister, you come to your mind? I yes. ah, praise the Lord. You get the question. Yeah. Who come to your mind, Lord? Suffering, although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of suffering. Any, any Bible character come to your mind? Yes, yes, this is what I'm thinking of. When you think of Job, what happened? Um, although the world is full of suffering, he lost everything within a couple of minutes. He lost his children, his cattle. He, he even got sick. Use open mic. Use open mic. I had some poor thing there. And he even got sick. But even though all of that happened to him, he still overcame his Amen. Amen. Don't you your hand. So somebody didn't whisper to her. She knew why. She said, Job, you get it? Amen. Sir. Praise Sister, pick somebody else. I have another quote for you. Come on, people, you need to this going. Where about the come preacher? Why are you coming? So this is my this is the next. Remember, we're looking at examples of patient endurance. So Job was an example, yes? Yes. Praise him. So Brother Baxter, out of suffering has emerged the strongest soul. Out of suffering has emerged the strongest soul. The most massive characters are seared with scars. This is from a by name, Khalil Gibbon. Out of suffering has emerged the strongest soul. The most massive characters are seared with scars. People um, who are more successful are seared are, have scars. I would say King David. Right? Why did he say David? Because he went through a whole lot to become king. Um, from, from, the, from the start, yeah, um, um, he, he, you know, when, when, when he was recognized and he was playing with Saul, afterwards, you know, when he said David kill his thousand, Saul kill his thousand, or something like that, um, he, he tried to kill him, so he went run for him, like, and then, um, you know, you know, towards his life and everything, you know, um, you know, just going through, you know, try to run up, to try to preserve his life, you know, flee from Saul, um, going to enemy's camp to live, running from the enemy itself, you know, and different, different things. So I, I think, um, um, based on that what you said, uh, I, I believe that. Clap your hands. Thumbs up. I didn't have that same person. I had Moses. Moses. But remember, it's not wrong and right. Yeah. I have Moses. The Bible said he rather to suffer affliction with the people of God that to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. The man, a man was raised in Egypt. He knew everything. But after the murder, he had to go and be a shepherd for 40 years. But bridging through those scars, the scars of committing a crime, being on the run, the man had a record. You know really? The man was a fugitive from Egypt. But God, a felon, the man was, the man committed a felony. A murderer. And he was running. But through those scars, he was able to come and say, the I am said to let my people go. Praise his holy name. He was able to lift bread and lies come. Praise his holy name. Water turned to blood. Praise his holy name. Maria and Oh God. Praise him. Okay, Brother Baxter, pick somebody else. Where is him? <laughs> come, 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 come. Come, come, come. I can tell it's not J.U. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Baxter. Thank you, sister. So out of suffering has emerged the strongest soul. And that's what I'm saying. According to question three, examples of patience. When you suffer and you bear the scars, you come out stronger. Praise him. The next quote is to bring something else up. Sometimes the only way around suffering, and this is by uh, an anonymous um, quarter, sometimes the only way around suffering is to go straight through it. Mm. 
Sometimes the only way around suffering is to go straight through it. Oh, this is what I'm thinking. The quote says, sometimes the only way around suffering is to go through it. Who's going through your mind? The bread you know who's going through mine. Who's going through your mind? Peter. <laughs> why, why Peter? Why Peter? I like it. Uh, he, went to, he went to prison. Uh, well, from the start, he wasn't really converted in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, you know, through everything, he went to prison, he did everything, and even at the end of, uh, of his deathbed, he, he decided not to be crucified upward, to be crucified downward. And um, it's just to show like how more passionate he was for God. It was so yeah, that's that's what I have. Give him a clap. I have Paul. I knew it. Praise him. For the part, pick somebody else. So virgin week, we are learning that um suffering. Sometimes if you try to go around it, you end up taking yourself more. Yeah, 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 yeah. The best thing is to go through it. That's when, stop trying to help God. Go through it because that, that's when you get the true, genuine blessing. Come in, man, what you got. This one is a little bit different. You're the right person for it, though. Trying to get around this one. You're going through, through it. it. Praise him. Listen to this one. To live, to live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. And this is Frederick Nietzsche that said it. To live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. Joseph. 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 Ah. Uh, no. I had either one. Why did you say that one that you said? His whole life was suffering. Uh, when he was born, his brothers hated him, threw him in a pit, <laughs> and they wanted to kill him, but somebody begged for his life and they sell him. And when he got there, he got a position in which he was lied upon again, thrown into prison. <laughs> and he begged, remember me when you go up, that he was forgotten twice. Mm -hmm. And someone finally remembered him. and. At the end, he was sent to preserve life. Praise him. So I, that's a very good one. Clap him. I, 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 I had any one of these. I had Ruth for Naomi. You want me to call me Mara? Yes. Praise his one. God, 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 no, 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 no. God deal with me bitter. But in the end of it all, Bridget, praise his own name. When, 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 when Boaz and Ruth and open and then lay it in her hands. Praise his holy name. It was a blessing. Amen. Praise his holy name. Ruth said, treat me not to leave thee, nor to return from following her faith. Really pushed her. Praise his holy name. She suffered the death of her husband. They all did. Praise him. Amen. And, but when they found the meaning in it, that God had a better plan for them. You imagine Ruth and your sister-in-law, you all the men in your life died. Praise him. I have to go to a new country, a new situation, and all of that happened. So I, that's why I had about that was an excellent answer too. Amen. Next person, who you want? Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This, is, this is a tough one. I'm glad you choose that. Yeah. Let's go. Three of clap as you come. So remember, to live is to is to, to live is to suffer. To survive is to find the meaning. Yeah. Praise his holy name. Here's my thing. Um, people have a hard time letting go of their suffering. Out of the fear of the unknown. People have a hard time letting go of their suffering. Out of the fear of the unknown. They prefer suffering that is familiar. They prefer suffering because it's just a familiar one. Yeah, people have a hard time letting go of their suffering. And this was by a man called Thikhan. Not Thikhan, Thikhan. <laughs> people have a hard time letting go of their suffering. Out of the fear of the unknown, they prefer suffering that is familiar. They hold on to the suffering because it's familiar. 
Um, I'm thinking of Jacob. Um, mm. I don't know. Uh, just because, you know, after he ran away, he stayed away for a really long time. Um, because he didn't know how his brother would accept them, and he only went back after direction from God. Okay. So fear is the unknown. Yeah. 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 This is what I have. of today. And it was written by Paulo Coelho. The pain of yesterday is the strength of today. I want you to think that the examples of patient endurance as provided by the examples that we're giving through quotes and through the stories that they're coming with. The pain of yesterday, turn to face them, the pain of yesterday is the strength of today. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you got? What do you say, David? Um, I was thinking of the pain with Bathsheba of losing the child. He was um, fasting while the child was, um, I was just using that scenario, that while the child was um, still alive. And then when he saw that, you know, it was not going to be, he, um, he, 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 <laughs> he was strengthened after that. He understood God's will. Stop your hands. I was thinking of um, all the struggling, the struggles that he went through with, with um, to get there, preacher. I'm talking about um, Charles Saul throwing a javelin at him. I'm talking about um, losing your best friend. Your best friend's father is trying to kill you. I'm talking about running down um, beer and lion. Praise his holy name. But then when you saw that strength, strengthen him to face Goliath. Yeah. Strengthen him to face Saul. Strengthen his heart to deal with the struggles that he would go through. Praise his holy name. Amen. We praise his holy name. Amen. We bless his holy name. Praise I am encouraging brethren and friends that if you have a hard time letting go of the suffering of the past, whatever you went through that is hard to let go, the devil sometimes put it in you that it's easier to deal with this suffering. Just hold on to this. But it's not true. a lie from the enemy. I see the hands. Because I don't want people to see it like that. <laughs> Alright, but I, I'll do so. I will. Praise his holy name. Amen. Pick somebody else to come, sis. Who? I don't know who else. Just pick somebody else to come. Oh, come to the The, um, the reward of suffering is experience. 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 Harry Truman said that. The reward of suffering is experience. Uh, praise him. Praise him. Um, the first person that comes to mind is Joseph. Oh! <laughs> why, why you think that? Very bush, <laughs> The reward of suffering is experience. Um, we all know the story of how his, his brothers, you know, um, took him through in the pit and they told his father that an animal got him and he, he went into first, he went first to Potiphar's house where the Lord blessed him and in Potiphar's wife. Try to do our thing to to get them, you know, to 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 walk out of the Lord's will, but he remained faithful and he went to prison. And then through all of that he became the warden or the second hand to the warden, I guess. And you know, he had to suffer through all of that, not doing anything at all wrong. And um I think even somebody was I think somebody said it right, but you know, he he was forgotten twice as they, they said and 
So what like, he was when they finally remembered him and you know he came and he came to the Pharaoh and he, he told Pharaoh the interpretation of the dream. And Pharaoh seen all of that saying that you are definitely the man fit to do all of this. And through all of his experiences, being in Potiphar's house, being the, the second person, learning how to handle the house, being in the prison, learning how to handle the prisoners, he knew how to deal with a time of drought, a time of when there isn't a lot and you have to divide up stuff in, among people, you have to divide up stuff so things will last longer. Open Joseph was in the experience he got, even, even when his brothers thought they would be dead. He said, you meant it for evil. But God meant it for good. Praise is only there. That's a truly converted heart that has been through suffering. But they got it. They understood the joy. They got the joy from it. The juice from it. They got the reasoning behind it. They understood why they had to go through the pit. Potiphar's house. Prison. To get promoted to become prime minister. They got Joseph got it. Joseph knew that if he wasn't in the pit. He wouldn't end up in Potiphar's house. In Potiphar's house, he learned how to manage much. In prison, he learned how to manage little. In the Russians. And in Pharaoh's house, when he became the Prime Minister of Egypt, he had to do use both skills. The plenty for seven years, the plenty skills that he learned in Potiphar's house was for that first seven years, how to store it, how to deal with it. Because everything he touched in Potiphar's house, except the wife, was just blossom. Yeah. And then everything he touched in prison, you get morrisons and small amounts to share for everybody. He was able to use that skill in the seven years of leadership. Amen. So God brought him through the suffering for him to be successful at his job when he got it. Lord of mercy. Some of you want big job, but we don't want big suffering. Some of you don't want to steal up and study. Praise the Lord, preacher. Praise the soul in the end. you said when, when your wife passed all these things, I'll let her let all you feel. But preacher, how much night, preacher? Praise the Lord. We'll have to say nothing more. Many nights. Praise the soul in the end. She had, she had, she's studying. There you go. So what I'm saying to you, saints, if you want the blessing at the end, enjoy or understand the benefit of the suffering. Even a negative relationship, find the juice. Find why did you go through that? Ask yourself the good question. What can I learn from it? Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. And when you find the right one and the good thing, you start to be like says, I will never do that because it's all that felt. Because you have the experience. Praise his holy name. Better right, pick someone else. I know she's going to pick Sister Nikki. Come on. <laughs> I knew he was going to pick her. I could just see it in his eyes. He was just waiting. <laughs> Praise him. Amen. A man who fears suffering is already suffering from what he fears. Michael de Montaigne says, Michael de Montaigne says, a man who fears suffering is already suffering from what he fears. Who do you think? So? This is why I think. This is why I think. A man who fears suffering is already suffering uh, from what he fears. A man who fears suffering is already suffering from what he fears. Who's coming, who's coming to your mind? A man who fears suffering is already suffering from what he fears. The person that came to my mind Jonah. Oh, that's a good one. Why? <laughs> because that's a good one. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because when um, God sent him to uh, warn the people of Nineveh um, out of fear, mm -hmm. he didn't want to go, and so he took another route, and he ended up suffering in the in the belly of the of the fish. <laughs> yes. That's a good one. And then he still had to end up going to um to the Very good. I had Peter. I had Peter. If you think about he he, he said to Christ, never suffer with him. 
Me not easy. Yeah. Yeah. Praise him, but when the person said, you're one of them. Yeah. You see his real fears coming out. Yeah. I'm encouraging the church not to fear something. Yeah. But understand it. It's an, it's, a, it's an inevitable part of your Christian journey. Yes. You are going to go through some things. If you want experience, you are going to go through something. Very much. If you want, if you, some people here, people are praying. I said, why, Lord, I want to be a prayer warrior. Lord, I want to pray like so and so. <laughs> God has to bring you to some things to touch, to build your compassion level. Yeah. Problem, problem. So, you don't I get the preacher. Brethren, you think you can lay your hand. You think you can lay your hand, pan, pan, sit there, when you never believe. <laughs> Praise his holy name. Amen. Amen. A mother who has lost something. Can pray for somebody who is who is who is suffering. A man who has been through hardships can empathize. When Jesus reached a man, when a man, when a man said, "Touch the edges, man," you know, for Jesus, there every man in there. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Jesus, I'm gonna watch a man every year, yes, sir. And you must say, "Ee." He said, well, I'm going to go down here and check him out. And Jesus, I grew up as a baby, turned 30 some. That man was 38 years, and Jesus did him at 30. You get it? Yeah. He died when he was 33 and a half. Yeah. Now, me, so when Jesus was in heaven, the man was there trying to get in the pool. They, they, they see him. And when Jesus come and still see him, he said, what? 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 what, what? He said, why? Nobody help me. I went, I went to... Please. That's what happened to a lame man. As I put the layman on mine. Praise his holy name. Amen. Who's next? Sister Nikki, you want to come? Sure. Brother Fraser. Yes. You're yes. done. <laughs> this is interesting. You gotta listen to it. It's a tricky one. But it's good. Edward Back said this. Suffering is corrective. <laughs> Suffering is corrective to the point to point out a lesson. Suffering is corrective. It points out a lesson, which by other means we fail to grasp. And never can be, it cannot be removed until that lesson is learned. Mm -hmm. Suffering is, a, is corrective to the point, to point out a lesson, sorry, which by other means we fail to grasp. And never can be eradicated or removed mm -hmm. until that lesson is learned. Um, this is who I have in my mind. <laughs> if you have a mirror in your head, you have a mirror in your eye, sorry. <laughs> this is why I have. Um, suffering is corrective. It's corrective. Mm. It's a I'm, corrective measure. I'm thinking about David. Mm. That's a great one. A great response. Why David? And why I say David is um, I'm thinking about when he come to Israel. Yes. And um, when he numbered them, he sinned. And uh, when he when God. Yes, when the prophet, thank you, preacher. When the prophet God come and gave him the, the options, he would say rather to fall in the, the hands of God. The hands of God. Yeah. I know that God will have mercy. And but then when he got when he saw the angel with, with the sword pull out. Jerusalem, he must have cried, you know, yes. Yes. for the Lord to have mercy. So to me, that's what I would use correct that statement. Yes. Because he sinned, but it was corrected. Mm -hmm. Top in mind. Mm -hmm. Suffering is corrected to the point that it points out a lesson by which other means we're not we're gonna to fail to grasp it. Mm -hmm. And you will never you will never be able to, to move this suffering until you have learned that lesson. Let's think about Jacob. Um, got his brother's birthright by doing the different things that he did. But he still had to wait. Any amount of years he would have taken God to deal with him in the normal, he still had to go through it in so far here. Preacher, they have, they have to go through it. And in the end, Virgin, he still had to come back and make peace with the same Isa. Praise his holy name. Last one. Anybody would like to come? So me, you're yeah, the last one. I know you're gonna get it. <laughs> so yours is this: it is at the border of pain and suffering that the men are separated from the boys. 
Yes, sir. It is at the border of pain and suffering. It is through pain and suffering that men are separated from boys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is at the corner of pain, the border of, of pain and suffering, that the men are separated from the boys. And this is from Emil Zatopek. That's a, that's a <laughs> <laughs> Who are you thinking of, Sister Dawson? It is at the border of pain and suffering that men are separated from boys. Women are separated from girls. It means that you grow up. Who will come into your mind? Just, it is at the border of pain and suffering that the men are separated from the boys. Who are you thinking about? to give the examples of patient endurance yes. as provided in James 5.10. We're looking at other examples in the words of God where suffering <laughs> So, Sister Dawson, it is at the border of pain and suffering that the men are separated from the boys. Just give me, an, give me a character in the Bible that you think grew up based on their pain and stuff. Or what they went through. Joseph. Just, Joseph? Why Joseph? Oh, because he was thrown in the pit from his brother. Right. He was, um, whatever, his brother. He was separated from his family. Yes. He was his brother. So, but he has no sister. So I, <laughs> <laughs> I give her a clap. Thank you so much. So this is what, this is what I had, sis. This is what I had. The Hebrew boys. Praise his holy name. But your name grew up. They stood up for God. They were saying, um, God is able to deliver us. But even if he doesn't deliver, he's still God. We are going to face the suffering. We're going to go through it. And brethren, by that statement, they became a part of the, the household of faith. They, 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 they moved from just being the Hebrew boys to really two men of God. Praise his holy name. They stepped up because God, Jesus, joined them in the fire. Amen. Isaiah 43 fulfilled on them. The flames did not kindle on them. We praise his holy name. Amen. We should bless the name of the Lord. Amen. These are examples of patience, amen, and endurance of all different people in the Bible, or different um, characters in the Bible, or their character was built through suffering, or they grew up and, and they became stronger and better. To, because of what they went through. And I am saying, if you look into your life, some of the rough things that you have been through, Banjo always talk about growing up. But it is impacting the decisions you're making today, aren't they? Yes, sir. And that is what I'm saying. But the phrase of you stood passionately last week or the week before, well, the week before, and you spoke about your experiences. Sister Fraser is getting the great treatment as negative as those experiences were. You will never do the same thing to her. Amen. So she's benefiting from the experience. Come on, come on. As bad as they were, you will never go there because you know the pain it caused. The love you have is so strong, you would never bring their family to that. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. So as bad as it was, praise his name, your mom is a hero because she received that so you could be a better man. Amen. Church of missing all the time. That's all you have to get over. That's all you forgive when you see what you, the blessing that came out of the worst negative you can think about. You get a new perspective, a new lease, a new understanding. If that didn't come, mighty God, maybe I wouldn't be who I am because I know what I will never do. Come on, to mine. Praise is over. Bless the name of the Lord. Oh, our believers temporarily affected. Thank you for everyone for being so kind. And doing what you were asked to do. Our oh, believers temporarily affected by tribulation. How oh, are they urged to face this? Young men, Psalm 55, 3 to 6, Romans 12, 12. Praise the Lord. That Psalm 55, and it says, Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they heat me. Twelve verse number 
verse 12, rejoicing, hope, patience, and tribulation, continuing in step, step, step. You know, did you read from 3 to 6? Three to six. Psalm fifty-five, three to six. Sorry. Um, from verse four. My heart is sore, pain within me, and the terrors of death are falling upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had had wings like a dove, for I will fly away and be at rest. Our believer is temporarily affected by tribulation, Javen. How are believers briefly or temporarily affected by tribulation? Um, because of the oppression of the naked. See, that's the, um, that's the cause, what's the effect? How did they feel? What, what was the effect of that cause? <coughs> Verse six, what it says in verse like a dove. So how does a person feel if they want to fly away? Yeah. How do you think they feel? Um, they want they want to be free. <laughs> so they feel chained, yeah? Chained. Yeah. Yes. Praise them, saints. But Jaden, how are we urged to face this feeling? Because it says, Oh, I believe us still well affected. You're affected to the core. Praise them. That's why David says, if I had the wings of a dove, or the, the psalmist says, if I had the wings of a dove, I would fly away the others. How are we urged to face this tribulation? Rejoice, rejoice be patient, and continue. continue. So we should face it with patience. Go through it. Fight through it. Virgin, that's why church is important. When you're going through it, it says, I am sharp and I am. The countenance of one man brightens the next person. Don't forsake the assembling of yourself. Be all how good and how pleasant it is for Bridget. Bridget, when you are dwelling with unity with you, I see her going through something. I can When you come to church and somebody share the testimony, it encourages you to go through yours. Not to drop yours, but to fight through so you can have a testimony too. We, bless, we praise the Lord, the man. Bridget, I've been to the fastings. We are going through something. And I didn't need enough to go up and say, man, because somebody went up and explained how they got through the years. Amen. God may lead me through a different path, but I see that God is able to pull me through. Bridget, I have always been fascinated with fasting. I know a lot of people come for fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's not right. You come to fast, they fast. But you know, fast are people business. Yes. Yes. Nevertheless, brethren, even though they come for that, they can still get a blessing. Yes, because they hear that God is able to deliver. Amen. God is able to keep. God is able to bring you through. Praise His holy name. We worship God. Amen. To what depth of despondency did our Savior momentarily reach during His affliction? Matthew 27 46. Matthew 27, 46. Matthew 27, verse 46. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, Manasthah, Dina. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? To what depth of this point is it, Jesus, did our Savior sorry, momentarily reach during his affliction? Uh, he felt the weight of the world that on his shoulders right at this point. Uh, what he had been sent here on earth to do, he was living that moment. And even though he knew it, he was going to be there, he knew this was going to happen, but knowing it and actually experiencing it is two different things. So he, he was experiencing the weight of the world. Praise him. He went to deep depth saying, yes. my God, my God. What? Why has thou forsaken me? Who has said this? Where? <laughs> my God, my God! I see it. Psalm 8. Psalm 8. Psalm 8. Oh, yeah, yeah, give me some more. Oh. Praise him. Anybody? Psalm 22. All right. 
Praise him. So Jesus echoed David's cry, the cry of the righteous. He said, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. You know what is that? David said, Eli, Eli. Okay. That's why I'm going to tell you something later on. I'll explain why he said that. That Jesus in the very core, in the, in the toughest part of his life, in the very hardest part of it, he said, Eli, Eli, and I'm about you. My God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? What I'm saying, when you're going through suffering, and a, when we say bear it, or to find the positive, is that all the time you're going to be skinning your teeth? No. Come on, John. <laughs> yeah, suffer. <laughs> so, so far, mm, uh, uh, suffer, 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 suffer. Me, I suffer, suffer, suffer. No, 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 no. It don't work like that. No, sir. Yeah, sir. <laughs> Peter, we have your pill. If you come up in a book, me, I suffer, me, God. Me, I suffer, that to me. Sometimes I worship, I cry, I want to know what I cry for. Sir. Sometimes you talk and we can feel the burn. Jesus! Do you understand? Jesus! Jesus was, he must have God. You really not left me now? No, no. But God had to leave him for him to die. God, Jesus has fear to him. Remember, he's a resurrection. He's a walking fireball. Do you understand that? If, if, if God never leave him, he couldn't die. And he had to die. Mighty God. Brethren, some of us are going through. Please understand that when you see nothing happening, God the teacher have to sit back so you can go through the test. Praise his holy name. Him teacher, teacher, and teacher, and teacher. No, it's time for the test. When you feel alone, when you feel like you're by yourself, you have to go through it. Praise his holy name. We worship his holy name. Amen. So Jesus cried out. Jesus did it. I'm going to answer the questions that they said. I'm going to do a disclaimer first though. If you're, if you're, if you're mean, ask a mojin, cover your ears, please. That's a disclaimer. I think sometimes we are too quick to rescue people. Anybody hear this? Sometimes we are too quick to rescue people. God is doing our work. And we insert ourselves as heroes. God is processing somebody. And we rebuke ourselves into it. And about Jesus. Am I you get what I'm saying? You have some people who just want to be heroes. They want, they want to be known yes. as Sam Sharp and Nanny. As George William Garden. We're next one in here. Paul Booker. I'm Stony God. Marcos Mozilla Garvey. Buster Manti. Norman Bunny. They want to they want to be seen as the hero. Sometimes we are too quick to rescue. As soon as somebody cries, I know the words. I know what the words of God say. You know when 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 the um when your neighbor come, don't don't say be the one. And we get it. I'm, so we're not dispelling the word. We can't. But I'm just saying to us, some of us, as soon as somebody cries, we are quick to rescue. But my thing to the church is to wait. For the sound in the mulberry tree. Amen. Mr. Sasha David was a man of God, a real man of God. It seems you know what happened, David. David went to do a thing, and when he come back to see God, the man, family, everybody gone. Do you know that David, he went to God and asked God, Should I go for them? Should I pursue them? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, no. David asked God the permission. Should I go? It should be instinctual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody get what I'm saying? Yeah. You have a responsibility to take care of your wife and your children. Yes. But David still asked God, should I go? Yeah. When? There was another time when 
Brethren, every time David about that said go. Yes, One of the times he had said go. Yes, but yes. brethren, the next time he said, we are clean, we are for the sound. We have to look here, the signal that I give. Yes. Because it's a go before that man of God dead. I'm saying that God is a precious God. Yes, he is. And deacon, we have to allow people to be processed in God. Yeah. And that's why we have so much wimpy Christians. Yeah. Fried Chris. Yeah. Wings, we are, we, we're, not, we're not ready yet. As the going to take them out. Yeah. And God is saying, why? Oh, too much heroes. Allow me to process them. God, if you take what Jacob out from Rebecca, take him out. If you can process him the right way. God, everything. Rebecca knew he was promised. Rebecca knew he was a chosen one. So she always a child of God. And from one friend of tussling in the womb, she watch what I want. When she see the first one come out, and then she, st- she always trying to help God. When Isaac said, I'm going to bless you, gonna, she run to tell Jacob, come yes. and take it. Oh, but the point I'm making with all of that, it's still in God's will, God and make it happen. But a lot of us are we have too much heroes. Yes, Allow people to be processed. My son was in a I'm, clo- I'm coming down. My son was in a class. I was working there. And Bridget, he was going through it. He was struggling. When you're talking about every grade you've been through, it has been easy. No struggles. You're in the gifted program. You are, you are seen as an elite student. And you book up on a teacher who plans to tell you that it's not so. You should be in special ed. You can't read. Your teeth need braces. That's what a person actually tell him. And I watch him come at night and say, I don't want to go to school. Cry all night. And every man let me pick him up and carry him back. All of my friends said, change the class, my you to make a boy dead. And I said, if he doesn't go through anything, what is he going to do when he goes to middle school and I'm not working there? Yeah. What is he going to do when he gets to high school and I'm not around the corner to rescue him? But you know what? God built him through that. Mm-hmm. So when he got to middle school, I knew that he ain't going to be no seven foot two. <laughs> so when the ninth grader said, "Come, Shawnee, whatever," he said, "Really? <laughs> you gonna be like? You, that's what you're gonna be like?" And they just laugh and leave him alone because now he can stand on his two feet. But you have to go through the process. Praise is all in here. I can tell you that that person is not even educational. After that class, they don't stop. God bless them with a child. A friend, they look at the child, they decide that they can't. They, they, they're not even supposed to be over there. But we are so trying to focus on this. Jesus, Jesus. They leave the church. That was the one prayer. We said, God, do it there one so they can see what it feel like. Only one. Can they look at somebody that is near a and tell them all oh, the things that they told them. And when God give them for them one, they couldn't even see. They, they, when they see the mirror, they couldn't go back and teach other people. So God took care of all of that. I didn't try to go in this way. Do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes I have to know them to go through something. The baby, if you don't want the baby, stick to the community teacher or something about baby. I'm not saying anything, church. I'm just... When the baby start to cry, but I wrote my name to hear this. Make them cry. <laughs> it's a them build voice. <laughs> Brethren, the first time we used to live in our room, Javan used to live in our room. His crib was in there. I'm telling come now. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and I'm like, if we're not, not going to work. You need to have his, you have his one room. You need to be in his one room. Brethren, that first night, the boy cried almost one hour. So, me and my sister Bella said, listen, all show we are crying. 
He's crying. I'm crying and my wife is crying. We all cried together. But we hold each other. She said, I gotta go get my son. We said, no, we're not gonna get it. We're gonna and sister Melissa said, hold on, we hold on. You see the second night they cry about half hour. <laughs> and show in the cry half hour. I said, the third night they cry about 15 minutes. Then he got the point. We ain't coming. <laughs> we were asleep. You see night four, they sleep one night in that one room. But brethren, when they start rescuing them every night, they're going to live in their room. I don't want to deal with that. No, we're going to fill their room now. <laughs> no, we have to buy a room. Put us this one in there. So what I'm saying, make them cry. Then we have enough room. Everybody get to the point I'm making, brethren. Sometimes we try to rescue too much. Mm-hmm. You have a new converts come. God is bringing them through small things. Yes. You have to teach. Teaching lessons is good. Amen. But sometimes when they struggle, allow them to struggle. Yes. And when they come up, they come up with experience. Yes. Yes. And, and then when they come up with that experience, God give them something on top of that. Yes. And they build them. Experience sometimes awesome. ministers preach and we don't rescue. Come on, Everything come and say, Woo! Ambulance come. Fire out. Come Woo! Ambulance. <laughs> Fire out. <laughs> They will never go to the burn. That's it. They will never experience God's fire. Because soon as God lights the fire, we out. And God allow us to do it because He knows that we are going to be under the pressure. They will never gain independence. They will never grow spiritually. Because every time God will put them through something, we rescue them. I said the disclaimer because there are some people who are mean. I said, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> And the virgin wife, you know, we said, we said, Pastor, you tell us that there's a child. <laughs> God is building. When you struggle financially, God is building the financial advisor in you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise his holy name. Yes, God is, hey, when the children are not behaving, God is building the father and the mother in you. Yes, sir. Praise his holy name. Yes, we worship his holy name. Yes, Glory to God. Yes, so, virgin, let us make sure. That we allow God to do his thing. Allow God to, to process us. Praise his holy name. Amen. Praise his holy name. Amen. What is Paul's example of joy and tribulation? Second Corinthians 12 verse 10. So, right? What is God? What is Paul's example? But the white, you're gonna get number seven preacher. What is Paul's example of joy and tribulation? Second Corinthians 12 verse 10. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Praise him. What is Paul's example says of joy and tribulation? He says that he takes pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities in persecution. In distresses for Christ's sake, because when he is weak, that is when he is made strong. Praise him. Amen. Give her a clap. He counted it a pleasure to suffer various ways for Christ, because in the end, those weaknesses builds the strength Amen. in him. Praise him. Praise the note, all the men read the note. Stand up and get the blood flowing. Together, believers are asked to lean on every father for sustenance and support during these storms. First and seven, brother White, state God's promise to sustain those who, are, who suffer for his sake. Colossians 1, verse 11. Stop when I. Colossians 1, verse 11. Close to verse 7? 11. Okay. Strengthen all might, according to his glorious power, and to all patience and all suffering with joyfulness. Where is in church? So God's promise is that he will strengthen with all might, yes, and according to his power. glorious power. Oh. Praise his holy name. Thank you, Brother White. We bless the name of the Lord. We praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We're almost at the end. Brethren, I just want to talk quickly about the strategies when we're suffering. 
Sister Fraser asked at the beginning of the lesson, can we encounter suffering from within? And we answered yes. But how do you overcome? How do you go through suffering? Praise the Lord. The first thing I say, church, is that we ought to look at the scriptural context and examples that we can find. Remember all the virgin who spoke? When I held up the, 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 my idea over there, sometimes they had a different one. That means there are many examples in the world of people who have overcome. Praise his holy name. Look at the examples of persons who have suffered at the hands of those who doubt and within. Look at David and Joseph. Praise his holy name. Look at Paul and, and, and all the other examples that we see. So the first way to overcome or to go through temptation is to look at the examples in the word. Amen. Go and dig up the word. I am not the first and I won't be last. Who else have gone through it? Who else have suffered? How did Paul handle it? Praise him. Amen. How did David handle it? How did Joseph handle it? How did Pastor handle it? I've been to testimony and I've been to fasting. I've heard what Vanja said. I've heard what brother so and so said. I've heard what sister so and so said. How did they do it? Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Amen. Sister Ariel, I remember two years ago, a year and a half ago or so, when you cried and when you, when you told us of the bird in your heart and everybody empathized. You know what you did? We fast and we pray. Praise his holy name. Amen. Bridget, by the time we went to her aunt's wedding, she was able to march down the aisle. Amen. Like Amen. every one of the bridesmaids. Amen. God, God did a work in her life. Amen. 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 We are saying that it's not only the examples in the scriptures, but we see it around us. Amen. That middle schoolers and high schoolers can go through struggles too. And God can bring them on. Praise God. Amen. The second point I want to bring to you is that the devil is not always the author of your struggles. The devil is not always the orchestrator of your struggles. Even if he is, he ain't the finisher. Write it down and never forget it. Everything we need to say, Satan is real. I'm starting to sing for Satan. Satan is real. The Satan channel. Man, I didn't forget your hand. I'm going to let you come. Satan is not always the author of the struggles you're going through. Sometimes God allow you to go through them. And if you tell to bring it to God, God allow it to. A.K. Job. Uh, no, as in the case of Job. But remember that even if he's the author, he's not the finisher of your faith. Praise his holy name. God is able to bring you through. The third thing I want you to say is, think how I can grow from it. What lesson am I going to learn from this trial? What am I going to, what, what moral, what character is going to be built through this? That's the third thing I want you to learn. Whatever you're going through, what am I going to learn from it? Praise his holy name. Yes, Praise his holy name. Yes, um, I got expelled from high school. You didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> the principal gave the letter. My parents don't even know unless they're on the line now. <laughs> <laughs> the principal gave me the letter signed by the board that you're no longer a part of your castle high because you were pushing a fight with blood was shed and you're expelled officially how did I not get expelled officially I went to church in Buxton and was playing the rhythm guitar at church in Buxton and another member of the school that I attended, the high school, was at the function, standing outside, looking at me playing. The principal came up with a song with the exact same rhythm that I was playing. And he said to the pinginiki, pinginiki preacher. And he came and he said, we want one more person in the band. We don't have anybody playing that. We have, we have all keyboards and bass and drums. We have no guitars. I know the exact guy. He comes to the school. 
He knows how to play. I know he will be able to do it. And he let me join the band the same day the fight happened. <laughs> so, so they took me out of class the last session of school. Sent me home with a letter to my parents while I was leaving school at 8 o'clock that night or whatever. And it was in the secretary's office too. And when a teacher signed to say that I was there, she saw me. A teacher said she saw me with 40 other people. They signed a petition. 40 people said they saw me do that. 40 people. The man had a petition with 40 people and he expelled me. 40 people said, we saw you at this fight in Brownstone. And the man wouldn't take a word from me. I asked him, when did it happen? Like my club, which day it happened? <laughs> And I said, sir, I couldn't be at two places at the same time. I said, ask Mr. Anders. He said, yes, if it was Wednesday, it was at the band practice. Because it was a Wednesday before we played that song. I went to box on the Sunday preacher and harvest. I played Wednesday all day. The fight happened night, Monday, whatever. And I played a Friday. There's only one band session was there. And when the music teacher confirmed, he called the teacher and said she saw me. And she said she didn't really see me. Other kids saw me and she just wanted to give them voice. Wow. You get it, Bridget? Yeah. When the principal said 40 people saw me, I stood there and I said, I must have been there. <laughs> <laughs> but I know I didn't do any fight. I'm not a warrior, so I know I wasn't fighting nothing. But it sounded real. But you know what more I learned from that? I wasn't angry at the teacher or at the whatever. I learned that when you go to church, I must worship. Amen. When you go to church, do what you should do. Because if I was at the back of church and outside praying, I would be expelled from school. Amen. And I would be an angry man by that point because I learned them to tell me. I'm going to try to do some wicked things, I don't know. Amen. But preacher, because I was at church, do what I was supposed to do. You get the moral? Yeah. When you go to school, what God going to teach you? Amen. What are you learning from it? Amen. Stop walking around hating people. What is God teaching you from it? Amen. When you go to church, pray the music, pray good. Amen. But Bless somebody that you don't know what's going to happen. Amen. From that point in the story, that was my moral. When we go to church, give God your all. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Amen. You know what I met my wife? Amen. When she came to church, she was doing her all. Our, our choir was singing. She was the only one who was standing up. Everybody sang up. I'm like, brother, that. She had... <laughs> and Bridget, that was how we were able to identify her because she was the only one standing. Come on. Him. Like the Hebrew girl. <laughs> Praise him. For it is inevitable. It's a part of the Christian journey. It's a part of the course. It's a part of it. It's a test. It's the exam. That is why you feel alone. You gotta go through a test before your testimony. Amen. Four things so far. Look at the scriptural context. The devil is not always the author, even if he is, he ain't the finisher. Think how you can grow from it. What lessons are you learning? The moral, what character is that building? The fourth is, it is a part, it's inevitable, it will happen. It's a part of the journey. Expect suffering. And the last one is, I belong. The fact that you're going through it, it means you're a part of the family of God. It means you belong. You are chosen. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. You're like Joel. Somebody said, ah, ah, have you considered my servant Joel? Praise his only name. The apostles, they all went through it. Mind you have the last word before the conclusion. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him one more time. Praise I was thinking back on the, the scripture where Jesus quoted from the yeah, book of Psalm. Yes, sir. And I was saying to myself, the way we act when we're under pressure is very important. Come on, come on. Um, you, you're not supposed to slip and curse a bad word. <laughs> um, you're not supposed to walk and slam door through the house and a break glass here and there. Or to say, I want to kill myself. These things come from people of God now. When we're under pressure, it is very important. Jesus quote from the book of Psalm. Um, when in, in, in the book of Jude, the Bible said that when well, because of the devil and you can't get into a bad word. <laughs> Some people think like that. Oh, Jesus, the Bible says, contend with Michael over the body of, of, of Moses. And he said, the Lord rebuked him. Yes, Jesus quote the word on the cross. And that. He didn't bring really an accusation. Praise his name. And so that just, was just my thought. The way you deal with things when you're under pressure is important. Mm -hmm.
When Jesus was under pressure on the cross, he quoted the words. That's what Van G is saying, and we endorse it. The, the conclusion, because let's all stand and read it together. The conclusion, the concluding statement. Together? When we are prepared, we will not be overthrown by these crafts of the adversary. Get secured in him, and die for you. Praise him, say. Praise him, say. Listen, what you learned today? Tell me one thing you learned today. Yes. Tell me one thing you learned today. I want to hear your voice. Tell me one thing you learned today. Don't be nervous. You're going to be okay. Nobody can buy it. Come in here. Nobody can buy it. Okay. What you got? Nobody can buy it. Nobody can buy it. Nobody can buy it. <laughs> she came over with us there. It was something good. And, well, we just, we just do this. Well, we just, it's been the first time we ever catch me so much of it. It's like, it's almost overwhelming. Yeah, almost. I know the thing. But I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Would you come back again? Sure. God bless you, God keep you, and God keep the praise of you.